Hello guys and welcome to the second part of Machine Learning Pro course and uh, today we are diving into an amazing topic in the world of explainable AI that is SHAP Analysis Framework. So don't worry if you are new to it. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding about what is SHAP Analysis and how it is used, why it matters and we also do a project by using the SHAP Analysis to explain the predictions of a XGBoost uh, regression model. Okay, okay. So let's just start with the basics. So SHAP stands for the Shaple Additive Explanations. It's a powerful framework designed to help us interpret and explain the predictions made by machine learning models. So just imagine you are trying to understand why a model predicted a certain outcome. So SHAP is like turning on the light in the black box of machine learning. Now you might wonder. Why do we need SHAP in the first place? Well, as machine learning models become more complex by impl implementing the deep learning and other kind of complex frameworks as well, understanding their decisions become crucial. So SHAP gives us insight into the contribution of each feature to the prediction, making the model's behavior more transparent and trustworthy, thus achieving the explainable AI. So it's just not about the accuracy, it's about the accountability of their predictions too. Okay, so why? Like why and when to use the SHAP analysis? Okay, so be because in the linear models like linear regression, uh, they can use their coefficients and p-value as a matrix for overall importance of each feature, right? Uh, but they, they are scaled with the scale of variable itself which might lead to distortions and misinterpretation because the coefficients cannot account for the local importance of the feature and how it changes with the lower and high values. That means how model behaves when certain columns are having low values for the 10 rows but having high values for the next 10 rows. So in this kind of scenarios, how your model behaves? So you need to know. but in the linear model, this is very hard to explain. So in linear model case, we are using the uh, techniques like uh, uh, generalized linear models to interpret those models. But we are also using the SHAP analysis as well because that gives us a more uh, wider view of the feature importance. So in the tree-based model like decision tree, random forest, XGBoost, we use the SHAP analysis because it is useful for interpretability of those complex or tree-based models. Okay, so all right, let's break down the SHAP analysis work. So imagine you are working on a house price prediction project and each column has certain amount of contribution to the price of the house. So similarly, SHAP ass assigns a value to each of the column or feature showing how it influences the prediction or the price of the house. So it's like giving a credit where the credit is due. Okay. So guys, uh, here is the like project that I built by using the SHAP analysis and the XGBoot regression problem statement. And in this uh, problem statement, we take the data set of the California house pricing and we will use the SHAP anal analysis on our XGBoost model here. Okay. The first thing I do is to import all the necessary libraries and also install the SHAP library as well. And then I get the California house pricing uh, data set, split it into its uh, test train and fit on my model. And then I just train my model on this data set. And after getting trained, so now the SHAP analysis comes here. So now I need to know that the explainability of my XGBoost regressor model here. So for that kind of thing, I just plot the waterfall plot here. So this waterfall plot will show is the importance of each variable. So the most important variable is longitude, latitude, average occupancy, uh, medicine, house age, average rooms and all this kind of uh, columns are there. So the longitude column shows that it is negatively correlated with the uh, our price column and longitude is positively correlated with the our price column. Average occupancy is also neg negatively uh, correlated with med ink is also positively correlated. That means if med ink values are getting high, the house price is also getting high. 
its average occupancy is getting low and and the house price is also getting high okay so in that way we can explain our model from this waterfall plot plot here and we can also like plot in some other values because this waterfall plot is only for a specific data point not for the all the data points in our data set it is for a specific kind of a data point only if the data point changes this plot also got changed so for to get the uh, plot for all the data points we use the summary plot here so this summary plot will show the all the values whether values are low or high that how they are uh, influencing our uh, target variable so that means it shows that if med ink values are very high so that is positively correlated with our target variable that is the correct thing and you see that the population uh, column here that it has like no or very negligible effect on the price of the house here and uh, and similarly if we see the average uh, rooms highs or average occupancy is there so average occupancy shows that if low kind of values are high then the house price also got got to be high high as well and similarly the long related values if gonna be in a very low phase then the price of house will also going to be in a high phase as well this shows the blue and the red thing will shows the feature values whether those feature values are low like 1 2 or 3 or high like 1000 10000 or lakh so in those ways these values will explain the explainability of our model okay we can also plot some other values like bar plot so this plot this plot will shows the importance of like mean importance of each variable like these latitude longitude medking average occupancy and average rooms these five are the like most important kind of uh, variables that you can use in your model if you want it to be more explain explainable as well and you can also plot a summary plot here in a in a plot type kind of a boolean plot it will also show us the same thing here this medding values are going to be high that is in the red color it will also influence the price of the house in a very pop pop positive way okay so like uh, yeah that's it so i hope you guys completely understand about like how you can get a complete explainability of your any kind of tree based model or any kind of complex models by using the shap analysis here so shap analysis just work on the same way you can like fit your model you get get the explainability and plot the all the plots that you have for a single data point for all the uh, data points and for all the values you will get the answers that how your model uh, features will in influence that target 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 variables whether those feature va values are low or high all right guys so in the next phase we will see that uh, shap isn't always the answer it shines with complex models but for simpler ones it will be a overkill so for the simpler models we need to use the stats model or the glm models only okay so before wrapping up let's talk about the downsides of the shap analysis so while shap gives us the insight it might not reveal everything about a model behavior plus it can be tricky to interpret for the non technical audience so if you are a non technical background you need to have a complete understanding of the model working in its mathematics only then you will be able to in interpret the shap analysis plots okay and there you have it an in the introduction to the fantastic world of shap analysis from understanding its purpose to getting hands on with the code now you are equipped with building a machine learning models with explainable ai and remember shap analysis isn't just about numbers it's about making machine learning models more transparent and accountable so then guys thank you for joining me today and in our next video we'll talk about the stats model library and the glm models to build a simpler models more explainable don't forget to like subscribe and share our youtube channel thank you guys thank you so much